Okay guys, I've had so much sugar and I'm ready to do Pokemon Soul Silver. Um, last time we arrived from Johto to this new region. This is by the way the after game. You can consider this like a second game in the first one. So let's just continue on. I have my hair across in front. And oh my god, there's Suicune. I'm so weird. Are we getting... Nah, obviously we're not gonna catch it. It's gonna run away. But if you'll meet it once more and you'll defeat all the gym leaders, Kanto, I think you can go and challenge it. So yeah, skill trainers gather on Kanto. Gym leaders are especially strong. They won't be easy to defeat. Guys, if you haven't noticed the quality, um, I bought a new camera. Tell me if you like this new quality. This is the Vermilion Port entrance. There's the Pokemart. There's a random house. Let's check it out. Um, over many years to go. Oh yeah, that guys. Um, if you don't want to fight the Vermilion Gym, you can just go up to Saffron City. But if you don't want to go either way, um, you want to go this way. But a big Snorlax is in front of you. And you can't get through there. And that's Diglett's Cave, which connects to Peter City. Okay, let's run back here. Um, let's see what this house got. I'm going to check out the items and the rest of them later. It's a bit blurry at the start when you enter something, but it's alright. The Magnet Train. Oh yeah, I remember. It connects to Golden Rod City, doesn't it? So that's like, you can... You can teleport yourself with ships, boats, etc. This is, I think, the Pokemon fan club. There's a bay leaf. Let's see what it'll say. Leaf, leaf, oh. Yeah. Wait. Guys, do you know, um, I chose my starter as Leroy, which is my Typhlosion. So my rival chose for Alligator. I wonder who picked that Chikorita. Hmm. Okay. Okay. You actually you don't want to talk to him too much. You just, you just want to hear his story. Let's talk about his lap rapid ash, how it's hot, smart, cute, beautiful, and stuff. And for listening to his story, he will give you a rare candy, which can level up your Pokemon. Um. Yeah, not too bad of a start. What's this guy gonna say? Oh, yeah. <laughs> he looks like Clefairy statue and just wants a real one. Go to Mount Moon and get one. Okay, um... Oh yeah, I remember this guy. It's been like three or four years and this guy still hasn't made a building right here. Uh, if you have Rock Smash, you can... Yeah, you can get a hidden item over here. I don't have Rock Smash on me, so... I'll just pop up on the screen what item is it. Yeah. Okay, guys, we can move on. Let's head inside here. And this is the fishing dude. I think in Pokemon... Oh, yeah. Ah, yes, I remember this guy. He's talking about the guy from Lake of Rage. Remember he said, bring me the biggest Magikarp or something? That was cool. Um, but nothing much else. The more, most attractions here that were milling gym, we don't have cut either. So we can serve, but as you, when you came out of the SSL, you probably saw some items. Line run. I hope I won't get attacked by wild Pokemon. Thank you. Um, there's an item over here. Which is Luck Incense, which is the same as an amulet coin, just doubles your money in battle. Hop on our lantern. I think it's, yeah, you can find a hard scale over here. Uh, sorry guys, just burped or something. Um, ooh, let's see our first encounter in... Kanto. It's a Wingull, which is... I think it's a Generation 3 Pokemon. We're not gonna obviously catch quiz because we already have a full team. And you see the awesome music would change when you arrive in Kanto, which is just awesome. Brings you back so much memories from the old games. Um, okay, let me just surf on here and use a Repel and... Not technically, I can get through here. Just cut the battles out if I ran into any. Yay! And guys, this is the Vermilion Gym. Yo, legend in the making. Why? He's gonna be a hip hop rapper or something right now. You lucked out this time. The traps at this gym have been 
out of order for a while, but the traps are back up and running now. Why lucky, you may ask, because you can train yourself better that way. Make up your mind and go for a lieutenant search. Yeah, he's the gym leader. Um, usually, if you find a key, it's right next to him. Like the... And I'm just trying to look around, but not finding it. And I'm going to do this double battle with my Mammoth Swan and my Heracross. Um, guys, I'm just going to say this. Um, right now, I went off screen. Like, for the while, I wasn't filming hard going so silver. I trained all my Pokemon up to level 46, because I played har through hard goal with this, with this exact team, with exact moves, with exact everything. And I figured, um... It's better to be over leveled than just taking a massive challenge, because I may lose at some point, like against g gym leaders and such. Everyone's level 46, you can see it's stats here. I think my camera's a bit messed up a lot. That's all the stats they have, and we can move on. So let's go t with this double battle. Let's in search how my potential electric type Pokemon. Think he can beat me? Well, I beat you once. Um, in a different game. <laughs> Copy, but I know I can beat you. I'm going to take you down. Prepare to be shocked. Well, only my Heracross can be shocked, because Mamoswine cannot be shocked, plus it's ground type. Um, Electrode and Jolteon. Nothing specially new, but nice challenge. See the level 43, 45s. Um, this after game is so awesome, they leveled up every everything to a higher level, so it makes it more of a challenge. And Jolten uses a helping hand, which boosts uh, your partner's attack or something, I don't know, in the double battle. But if you use it once, it won't do nothing. I think my mama's um Earthwaves can knock my hair across out, but I'm not so sure about it. But my hair across can take this electrode out. Maybe the Jolteon as well, so my so I don't need to kill off my Heracross. So that's gonna be awesome. Yay! <laughs> my Mamoswine's gonna get killed, probably. No, not too close, even. I didn't use any rare candies, I love her grind in the thingy. Victor Road, so. I used a couple of rare candies, like. If I had, like, one level left for one Pokemon, she's used rare candy. Um, but as I noticed, the stat did not go down for some reason. And that was weird. Now my Mamoswine's Earthquake's gonna kick in. It's probably gonna kill off my Heracross. Um, I wanna try something. No, I'm gonna heal up my Heracross. And just go with the Earthquake from my Mamoswine. Because... I think Mamoswine can kill them both. Because, you know... It's just one hit KO, plus Magnemite's four times weak. This is still an electric type. As you know, if you fought Jasmine. Um, yeah, nothing much else to say about this gym. It's just... It's just... If you, have, if you don't have a ground type, you'll have a rough time. That's all I can say for you. Um, not technically ground type. If you have a Pokemon with Earthquake, I have my hair across for... Um, obviously I didn't teach my mouse to find the TM for Earthquake, because it's learned at level 40 anyways. So it would have been like a waste of a TM. So I just started to my Heracross, it has most, the second Pokemon who has the most of attack on me. Voltorb. I always loved this Pokemon when it like, in the anime, like in the first season, <laughs> that was awesome. I like Trout. Okay, that sounds stupid. Oh well. <laughs> um, no. So let me heal up my mammoth swan. Oh god. Healing up my mammoth swan and using her everything. That's awesome. And I just noticed my, Viv my Vivek, aka Heracross, can take hits. So I'm just gonna attack straight away with my mammoth swan. Spared the majority of killing off my other Pokemon. And this shock wave kills me. I'm gonna be pissed. You can do nothing. Wow. I'm surprised, to be honest. Actually, I just noticed Swift attacks in a double battle hits both opponents. I never knew that, so that's awesome. Learn something new every day. 
Not every day, because Saturday, Sunday, you just sit in your laptop, watch cartoons, and not going to school. Uh, I actually love this camera. It's much easier than my old one. It's still like the same mark. It's just, it's just new. It's the same camera. Technically, it's the same camera, but it's just newer. A newer one because the lens on my last one just. I don't know what happened, so it just kind of wiggled around inside the problem. I never dropped it. I don't know what's going on with it. Okay, no buttons. I think they're up there. Um, there it is. Oh no, dang it. Never knew they reset after like a battle. I know they reset most of the time. I don't get that switch and then fight that trainer. Hopefully. Yes. The switch will always be right next to it, but I just failed that because I remembered I checked there, it didn't work. Yay, we can go and fight Lieutenant Surge, or we can take on this trainer after I heal up. How about Moo Moo Milks from the Moo Moo Farm? Quite a bit of them, over a hundred, so that's kind of awesome. Uh, cheap and awesome. You can get the Moo Moo Milk to sell to you after you give Orange Berries to the sick milk tank. But that's in the past. We're in cancer, we need to get rid of Snorlax's gentlemen with a Pikachu. I love Pikachus, they're kind of... In the anime, they make it so awesome, but in game, it's just, when you use it, you might get the lucky hit, but it's kind of terrible, to be honest. It has crappy defense, its attack is crap, its special attack is not so bad, its speed is good, so yeah. And here's an Electric, which is a Generation 3 Pokemon, from the Ruby Sapphire Emerald games, so that's kind of awesome. Like the Wingle we saw earlier. Many new Pokemon are going to appear in Kanto, including Generation 4 from Sinnoh. Some from, like, Kanto we didn't see earlier. I don't know which ones we didn't see yet. And Fluffy is coming out. Let's go with an Earthquake. Um. Um, when I watched Lurus videos, he mentioned that too bad Lieutenant Surge didn't have an Ampharos. I totally agree with him. It's just a complete letdown. Um, at least we see a Flappy in the gym, which is kind of disappointing. They should have just put an Ampharos somewhere in this gym. That would have been awesome. But no Ampharos to battle, that sucks. Probably gonna be in future in some kind of other battle. Okay, my Heracross is done its deed. Let's swap items, because my Heracross is obviously holding um, soft sand. But I'm going to give my Mamoswine the soft sand and take off the Never Melt Ice, which boosts Ice Step moves. Just because... Did I put it on? Yes. Um, because I want to boost my attack. Let's just save up. And let's take on Lieutenant Surge. Hey you little tyke, it may not be very smart to challenge me, but it takes guts. When it comes to electric type Pokemon, I'm number one. I've never lost on the battlefield. I'll zap you just like I do all my enemies in battle. Okay, this guy's lying, you'll see in the future why. I love this guy, it has sunglasses, and watch like, yo yo, haha, you can't win. Uh, whoa, let's go, you can't win against me, I'm Batman. Okay, Raichu, it's level 51. I don't know its moves, I don't know any of its moves, so let's just go solo. Earthquake! That is all my strategy, going for Earthquake all the time on every one of his Pokemon on this team. Sweeping his team with one Mamoswine. Can probably get us up to like level 48 or something. I'm gonna destroy him, technically. And a Magnus almost four times weak. To ground because still an electric type. Probably has all of his Pokemon have some shockwave, I think. And I saw I just had quick attack. I'm actually weak to this Magneton it's because it's still type, but I'm not bothered because I'm gonna kill it off easily. Plus, there's nothing to kind of outspeed me except maybe if he sends out his um, Electabuzz, which is the most powerful Pokemon. Electrode! Level 47! Die! Oh, double team. 
Remember Mock and Delete 4 we had a bit of luck because it started using Minimize? And this is what happened. It got earthquake to that. I don't know what I can say this, but technically Muck got taken by the ass. Electro's down. And Memos ends up to level 47. Nah, I think we're just gonna stay at level 47. And here comes Electro, his most powerful mod. It's level 53! Oh god. Imagine guys if I put a low kick. I think super effective may kill me, but I hope not. Come on. Mmm, I failed with the sweeping. Hmm, who should I send out? Lantern. Let's go. Haven't seen from Lantern in a long time now, guys, haven't you? Hmm, it's using Lantern. It's actually gonna help him out, to be honest. But I'm gonna confuse it. So, that's alright. And guy mentioned in my last video, you know, just go watch the next video, you'll see his comment. He said, film the pitch box, which I've tried to do, but it's crap quality, to be honest, but I tried it now with the new camera, it's pretty good. So, it's technically, it was my old camera's fault that it didn't work properly. And the funny thing is, this elect Electabuzz can do nothing to me. And I got a critical hit, which is super lucky. And... Water, nah, electric doesn't resist water, to be honest. Never known that. But if Electrobus, but if Electrobus uses Electrotech on me, have the ability Vol Pump, Vol Pump, lol. I have this ability that can absorb electric type attacks and make it, and remake it into my HP. Um, he's gonna probably go for a Super Push for Restore. Yes, I got it correct. And the battle's taking ages because of this one Electabuzz which does not want to go down. Die, you son of a bitch. And it's keeping using Quick Attack on which is quite doing a lot of damage to me for some reason. Wow. Use Electric Attack move, please. Heal me up. Come on, dude. Don't be such a prick. So I can be such a boss. Surf is not going to take it out. Um, I'm going to confuse it. Then we can heal up my lantern. And take it out. I want to install him out while his light screen goes off, because I want to actually take him out. Well, obviously I want to take him out. Because we need to do to get our first Ganto Gym Badge. In this game you get all 16 badges, so kinda makes up for it. Come on, hit yourself, please. Ah, oh, come on. The first Soul Silver video in like forever. Since part 40. This is part 48, isn't it? I'm gonna be so angry if I'll get the part wrong. Yes, I like the buzz goes down, it almost said Electrode there. We got a bunch of experience, and he still has Electrode left. I actually forgot about this one. Both of them are annoying. I think both of them have Explosion. So, this battle may end up either way. Come on, surf it. Whoopsie. On surf. Ah, light screen. I'm gonna switch out to my hero cross. I think that just explode. I, I just have the feeling. I don't know what is it. Yay, thank you. See you guys, that's my ability. Oh yeah, it's Walter Absorb. Lol, I keep forgetting my abilities for Pokemon. That's pretty bad. If I forget I have Blaze on my so floating, I'd be pissed. Okay, let's surf this thing. Hit yourself, please. Oh, come on. How can you not hit yourself? He you has double team. Hey, double team noobs. Um. Okay, this is not working out. Let's use another surf. If it doesn't hit, I'm gonna be pissed. I'm going to my pearl crosses a couple of area laces. Surf, knock it out, please. Hey, Natsani. Hey. Fuck them. 
I hate electrodes. That's special. Fire truck off with your light screen. That's it. Where is my hero cross? I'm gonna knock this thing out. If he uses explosion, I'm gonna be freaking angry. Why didn't I catch a Gengar instead of my Espeon so I can use the Sable on this thing? <laughs> Earthquake, do your thing. Please, Heracross. Please. Heracross, come on. You son of a... Pinter, Heracross, wherever you come from, I hate you now. So do I, this Electro. Oh, come on! Just because one battle, this freaking episode turns out into a long one. I'm gonna cut this out probably. If not, then there's probably a reason to it, which I'm not gonna probably bother to explain. Yes, please knock it out in one hit. Come on, Heracross, you know you can. I know you can. You know you can. You have loads of attack, man. Yes! Thank you, Heracross, for putting out out of my misery. This is probably the reason why I didn't cut this battle out. Yes, I win. I'm never gonna battle you again. At least you're Electro. Your other Pokemon are kinda awesome. Ah, you're strong. Okay, kid. You get the Thunder Badge. Yes, guys, this is the first badge of the Kanto region. We have nine badges and have ten more. Not ten more. This old guy just burped again. I'm so bad at math. I have nine badges, I have seven more to go. He gives us the TM4 Shockwave, which we obviously don't need. Just because we already have Thunderbolt on our lantern. And our mom's calling us, which we're not gonna answer, obviously. Although, we never told her that we're in another region. Um, so yeah. Let's just head to the Pokemon Center. Next time we're gonna explore Route 6. So see you guys then. Boombo. Okay, let's heal up. My camera just... Oh god, the same problems with the... Oh well. Why am I even showing you that I'm healing? Oh well, I'm probably gonna cut this out.